Hi, my name is Cindy Wild, and I was born in Bakersfield, California. I was in sports all my life. It was what we did as a family. Then the Lord just took me out of Bakersfield and took me to Viola University, where I went to play volleyball, and I met my husband, Danny. In 1979, we were married, and we just celebrated our 40th year anniversary. We are expecting our 13th grandchild in the next couple weeks, so we're really excited about that new life. The season that stands out to me the most, it was right after my third daughter was born, 33 years ago, that I really just was really tired of trying to do all the right things. It was during that season of weariness that I learned that I needed to be seeking the Lord and His Word each day. I always desired to read my Bible. I always felt like I should read my Bible. But when I started to spend time in his word to know him, that's when it didn't feel like hard work. That's when it felt like I was coming to know him. You know, I had five kids, we homeschooled, and it was busy. My husband was a football, head football and head baseball coach for many years. And so it was a really busy full life. And I used to say, use the word overwhelmed all the time. And the second I started to know the Lord and what he had for me was not to be overwhelmed, that I would just stop because I knew right away that meant I needed to get my mind back on the Lord, get my eyes back on His Word. And um, many times throughout His Word, He calls Himself the bread of life. He says that I am the vine, and when you abide in my Word and my Word abides in you, then I, meaning Him, will produce much fruit. So the fruit of the Spirit that I was looking for was peace. And as I was doing, spending time with Him, I was having love for people that I'd never loved before. and. Um, gentleness and kindness and self under control and it was just I was so hungry to know the truth many years ago the Lord when I was young the Lord gave me this verse for some other people who were older and they were just like yeah we're done we don't need to serve anymore we put in our time and as I read this verse in Psalm 92 they shall still bear fruit in old age they shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. That verse really stuck with me, and so the Lord has kept me from having any fear of growing old, which I praise him for that. But recently, my husband had to uh, retire last year because of health reasons, and hadn't coached for a few years. But he has a lot of health issues, and they're severe. But he's coaching again, and he's coaching back where he really started his coaching career. And it has just been amazing to see now in our old age. Um, praise the Lord. Not only are we still bearing fruit, but we are fresh and flourishing. And I praise Him for that because a few years back, I kind of thought, well, I'm, I'm pretty done too. I thought I was done uh, serving the Lord. That doesn't make any sense because that's never a thing, but that's how I felt. And He reminded me of this verse that um, they will and we will still bear fruit in old age. So I praise Him for that and hopefully until we're with Him face to face, we will never stop.